one degree. But they say this warming is going to create more rainfall and we're going to get more upper level moisture in the atmosphere. And that upper level moisture is going to block long wave radiation to space. And as a result, this CO2 is going to tap other uh, warming sources. It's going to block and cause a feedback, what we say is a water vapor feedback of about two degrees. So we're going to get three degrees warming. That's when the early model said that and the IPC report of 2007 has said that. Now everything I know about the atmosphere and everything, we're not going to see this. I agree. If you double CO2 and keep everything the same, we're going to get warming of about one degree. But the water vapor feedback isn't positive, it's negative. Because if you get more rain, the upper layers have more sinking. What goes up to cause rain, the mass that goes up in the cumulus clouds to cause rain, also sinks. And when it sinks, it sinks and dries the environment out. And we don't have this. We're not going to see this. This is just wrong. I, I sort of have a thing here. I think I have to go. But now, Jim Hansen. When he went to the Senate in his famous uh, testimony in 198, June 1988, we had that very hot summer here. The, he had a model, this is early model, that showed when you double CO2, the water, the uh, moisture in the upper atmosphere actually doubled. He doubled his moisture. There's nothing indicate that doubling CO2 should cause that. And he actually had his relative humidity go, go up. Of course he got warming. It was, wasn't a, a realistic model, but he got away with it. The other people didn't attack him they, because they, don't, they didn't understand the model. If you have these models, they're so complex, so involved, no one person understands it. It's teams that develop these models. And they have specialists uh, comp uh, on different aspects of the model. So now looking at the data, the actual upper level uh, moisture in the atmosphere has been going down in recent years, not up. Hansen's idea was that it would go up. Now, I want to show you, here's the tropical energy budget. This is just as good as the um, global energy budget. But I don't want you to study all these terms, that's okay. I'm trying to make a point here. And the point I'm trying to make is that we have the atmosphere. What did I do with my pointer? Who stole my pointer? Here it is, here it is, okay. Okay, no, I, I, I won't blame you, Sarah, for stealing. Uh, so, here's the energy budget. This is in watts per square meter. You don't have to know anything about that. But there's what we have in the tropics here. The, 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 uh, if we had the full globe, it wouldn't be that much different. We have 399 units coming in. At the surface, there's albedo reflection scattering. At the surface, you absorb about 215 units. There's extra uh, IR energy, 402 units coming down. Extra thing go back, 459 and so on. Rainfall, evaporation, cooling. All these are various energy units. How much energy are we talking about with a doubling of CO2? If you just double CO2, it will uh, block radiation to space. The answer is 3.7. What have we had up to now since the uh, 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 coming out of the little ice age, the middle of the 19th century? We've had 1.3 units. Now, if this is CO2, it's in the noise level. Nobody can tell what it's going to do yet. It's small. It may do us a little bit, but there's no way we can isolate it and tell 
with all these big terms here. Yet slight changes in any of these big terms can completely change it. It's, uh, it just doesn't go. Now, I don't know if I'll have time to get into it, but I believe the ocean is the main driver for climate change. I made a forecast back in 1996. We expect these changing Atlantic SST patterns to lead to enhanced intense hurricane activity in the coming years. We have since 95 up to now in the last 15 years we've had about four major hurricanes average per year. In the previous 25 years we only had one and a half average per year. Big pickup in major storms. Of course, the global warmers are using this and saying, look, hurricanes are getting a lot worse. CO2 is doing it. Well, if we go back further in the 1940s, 50s, and early 60s, we had just as many as we've been having recently. There are multi-decadal trends that go on that are ocean driven by salinity variations that are the major cause. So, um, I also said the globe is going to start cooling. 20, 30 years it's going to be cooling. It has been. There have been some weak cooling the last 10, 11 years or so. This is going to go on. We're going to have cooling. 20 years or 10 years from now, the globe will be slightly cooler than it is now. All these warming trends are going to fail. And we're going to look back and say the modelers were wrong and we're going to all agree, how could we have been so foolish to go all this way? So, uh, now, what has happened is the corruption of money. I've lived off the contract and grants business since I've been here. I know how important it is to get grants. I know how tough it is and how you go. And Eisenhower, of course, said, uh, when he left office in uh, uh, early 61, uh, you know, we all heard that beware of the industrial military complex getting to a uh, hold of this. He also said, partly because of the huge costs involved, a government contract becomes virtually a substitute for intellectual curiosity. The prospect of domination of the nation's scholars by federal em employment project allocation and the power of money is ever present and is gravely to be regarded. That has come to pass in my view with the global warming question. Uh, here's a fellow from Australia who said um, you must realize the holy grail of most scientists is not truth but research grants. <laughs> And the global warming scare has produced a huge downpouring of money for research. Any mystery why so many scientists claim to believe in global warming? Scientists are human. They have wives who want new dresses and kids who have to be supported with college and all these other things. And you can always bend your logic at some and say, well, I'm doing research in a certain area. This is good. I won't say anything. And uh, by the way, it takes, you'll lose money. It is so now that if you come out a young